we've been reading in news, uh, you know, uh, recently that uh, specifically with the ITES industry, there are multiple layoffs, you know, there are multiple um, areas where, uh, you know, uh, you know, mass resignations have also shaken up the industry. So Sid, I would just maybe like to understand, uh, you know, your take on, do you feel that there is a role that uh, emotional leadership can play in these times, you know, because things are uncertain, people are shaken up. Um, what's your... Um, first of all, I think um, companies are here to make money. So let's be very clear. Uh, this is not a charitable organization or these are not NGOs that they have a purpose focused on employee uh, retention and stuff. They have to make money. They have to be able to fund for their salaries and be able to be continue to do better things for employees. So there will be business cycles where companies have to take tough calls for themselves yeah. to stay and survive in this uh, very volatile, uncertain environment. Mm -hmm. So there are calls and I'm sure none of the news that you would have heard are all very difficult decisions for the leadership of the organization. Uh, I can imagine the pain uh, that any leader will come through when he has to give the pink slips. So I want to make sure we all understand that uh, today I am on this side of the table, tomorrow I could be on the other side of the table, depending on how the business runs. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I think, uh, you know, um, this is a cycle that I've seen like 20 years, every turn downturn, you will see uh, these huge waves of layoffs in the tech, tech companies. It's very common in US, they kind of used to it. India generally hasn't seen as much because we've been growing at a much faster rate. There's enough for people to do and, and you anyways lose a lot of people. So you tend to not necessarily count them as layoffs. Uh, but the reality is that eventually, uh, the manager who's the immediate manager needs to play a very important part. I always believe the immediate manager is the organization for that employee who's affected. Uh, yeah. It's not the CEO, it's not the CFO, it's not the press release, it's not, it's what the manager did in that situation and how did he handle the situation. And I think there is a lot of effort that at least at GenPact, I can tell you, but we we don't have any formal layoffs. We're doing really well, we're growing at a certain speed and and, and therefore there's enough to, for people to do and move around. The challenge part is now whether the people want to move around as much uh, given the post pandemic challenges. Uh, they want to stay in their hometowns and they want to do what they want to do. And therefore we still have open positions for people who possibly are get, coming through a, a rough patch because of a client uh, organization deciding to cut down budgets, uh, right. particularly in the services side. So from our perspective, I, we are very clear that we will give them enough opportunities within the company. Uh, eventually, it's it's for two to tango uh, to be able to say, yes, I want to take this opportunity for my betterment. Uh, at the same time, we are very careful, extremely careful. Um, sometimes I get worked up with the fact that we are over cautious about how you handle the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, so it takes much longer for us to prep ourselves and the conversation might be just 30 minutes, but mm -hmm. it probably may take three days for us to just reconcile to the fact that we have to take this tough call. On someone, so I think there is there is very clear uh, focus, at least from my experiences, on making sure it's easier for the employee. So we provide a lot of support uh, wherever people have been asked to leave because of performance issues or otherwise. Mm -hmm. But I personally think there is so much that we can do much better in our organization. There is so much the industry can do a lot more with helping each other out. Mm -hmm.